Hey, Mussies. Uh, yesterday I posted a video showing off my new uh, Ultraman X Blu-ray, and then I said I would go through a quick overview of all the other previous Blu-rays released in the Ultra franchise line from Mill Creek. So here, obviously, chronologically, is the first series, Ultra Q. Uh, pardon if there's any glare. I'm uh, keeping the shrink wrap on to protect the case. As you can see, and I'll show it a little bit here, that uh, the Showa era series have a, uh, a, what do you call it, a collage. When you line them up, kind of like those old uh, anime VHS tapes and stuff, you can line them up and form a picture. Go ahead and pause that if you want to read that. For the next 30 minutes, your eyes will leave your body and arrive in this strange moment in time. And this is strictly in Japanese, but with English subtitles. And then each one of these Showa series, there's an the option to get in a still case book for Blu-ray. Um, I opt out of that and go for this more cardboard sleeve. I've never opened the still case, so I don't know what's inside if, if they come with one of these books. But it seems like at least this version always comes with one of these books for the Showa series. Information and episode guide. Nothing on the back. Uh, I really don't want to put a crease in this here, but. Okay. Yeah, so you got some black and white pictures. Information about legacy. Let's a brief look at the episode guide. So, fairly nice collection here. Now, this is a little misleading here. This is not colorized. The, the picture here, the cover art for the actual case is colorized, but the show is not. I expect it to be in black and white. Um, yeah. Oop, there's actually a disc missing here because I'm in the process of watching this. <laughs> I know I probably should go and uh, get that, but I'm not going to actually go in depth with many of these here. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. Here's series two. They actually count them out here for you, at least on the Showa series. The modern ones, not so much. We'll get to that later. Protector of the Universe. And we'll line these up whenever we're done with my Showa collection here. And remember, this is an ongoing collection, too. Uh, they're still in the process of releasing all these. From the land of light, for justice's sake, here he comes, our Ultraman. Once again, go ahead and pause that. And the option is, once again, uh, Japanese audio only with English subtitles. Now, this one is in color. I have a feeling most of you already knew that. at least just take a look what the booklet looks like come on a 
Once again, nothing on the back. There's colorized photos in this one, obviously. Then up next would be Series 3, Ultraman, Ultra 7. A powerful fighter defends Earth from invasion. The seventh member of the Ultra Guard. Japanese audio, English subtitles. And the final current Showa release here is Return of Ultraman Series 4. Yeah, each of these come with a digital code. I've already redeemed mine, so. To protect justice and peace, Ultraman has returned. On a mission to save Earth, Ultraman has returned. Japanese audio, subtitles English. Oops. I seem to have this in here backwards, so here's the back of it. Nice. Very heroic looking. Okay, let's line them up here. Okay, here's the fun part. So here's Ultra Q. Followed by Ultra Man. And then Ultra 7. Finally, the return of Ultraman. So there you go, there's the show a series. At least so far as of what's been released from Mill Creek. For the more modern stuff, um, I just showed off Ultraman X. I'm not gonna get into detail about this series. And then there's Ultraman Geed. Let's just take a quick look inside. There is a little episode guide and information booklet inside, but it's not quite as nice as those firmly pressed books that were in the Showa series with the nice spine to the book and everything. And then, this is the movie. Because a lot of these, uh, so far all the modern series that have been released include 
the series plus the bonus movie. Now, Mill Creek does sell the movies separately, so if you want just the movies, you can buy them separately. But please be careful, don't get confused and accidentally buy the, uh, the solo movie whenever you already have it included on the uh, TV series set. Um, I almost made that mistake. Let's take a, one quick look at a pamphlet here. list of the special moves that Alterman Geed can perform, as well as a bio of all the primary characters. And here's a list of all the kaiju. And then here's the episode guide. And then I believe on the last page, if this is anything like the other ones, then you have a little information about the movie here. Key points and trivia. It seems like all the modern series have little trivia facts. Okay. So have Ultraman Orb currently available. Go ahead and pause that if you want. This is uh, strictly Japanese audio with English subtitles. You know what, really quick, let me pull up Ultraman Geed. I think I forgot to give you the chance to pause this here. Here's Ultraman Geed. And this is strictly Japanese audio with English subtitles. Yeah, so let's take a look at Ultraman Orb. I believe these are all Region A Blu-rays. Region A. Uh, here's the guide. Once again, this is probably the last time I'll pop one of these open here. And then finally, the most current modern series that's been released is Ultraman Orb, the Chronicle Saga, or the Origin Saga. Bonus includes Ultra Fight Orb. And pause that. Once again, just Japanese audio with English subtitles. I believe the only thing that has English that's an English dub so far is the Ultraman X movie. Just the movie, not the series. This had the English dub included. Okay, so I know I showed off the modern series a little bit out of order chronologically, but let's Stack these up here. Oops. And line them up. So this is what all the current releases look like. I obviously wish that the more modern series here had a, a collage. But at least... The artwork for most of this here um, seems to be in a similar pattern or theme. So it seems pretty reasonable and everything. Alright, Monsties. Are any of these uh, series a must-have for you? Have you gotten any for yourself yet? What do you think of the, the packaging, the artwork, and everything? It seems like Mill Creek did a seriously good job. 
All right, like I said in my last video, Ultraman Ace is available for pre-order already. Uh, and there's at least... I mean, Mill Creek's planning on doing all of these, but they've announced like four more. They just don't have release dates yet. I believe four. I could be miscounting, but something like that. All right, Monsies, I'll keep you posted on the individual release basis from now on. Uh, whenever the next series, Ultraman Ace, comes out, I will do an update on this collection here. Thanks for watching.